There is a saying we all know, the grass is always greener on the other side. And I feel silly, but recently I said this to myself and for some reason that time, I really understood what it meant fully. It's not just a quote about coveting, it's the perpetual dissatisfaction with what you have and who you are, even when you get the things that you've been coveting. You finally get to that green pasture that you've been idolizing and then you look back to where you were and then you realize, oh, wait a minute, that was greener. Or you look beyond this new pasture to a greener pasture and now you're chasing that. We are breeding dissatisfaction and wonder why we feel so unhappy. There is a doctor who specialized in neuroscience that I really enjoy to read. Right now I'm reading his book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. His name is Dr. Joe Dispenza, and I would like to read a quote from there that I find pretty relevant. In time, whatever the oft-repeated thought, behavior, or feeling is, it will become an automatic unconscious habit. When your environment is influencing your mind to that extent, your habitat becomes your habit. It becomes habit to always want more than we have. It becomes habit to be dissatisfied with ourselves, which keeps us in an eternal loop of, if I can just get here, I'll be happier. But that's the thing about a loop, it never ends. <laughs> Because as long as we don't find contentment in the now or find that peace and joy within, we may not reach that true happiness in our lifetime. And that is sad. God did not create us to be miserable. I promise you that. Which leads me to the scripture. A sound heart is life to the body, but envy is rottenness to the bones. That is Proverbs 14.30. So how do we experience a sound heart? Not by envying greener grass, it's not on social media, it's not on the news, it's not on TV shows or movies. Those only perpetuate that feeling of lack and despair. You'll find it by spending time in nature, spending quality time with people you love, disconnecting from fake online realities, and being grateful for the things that you do have. So we should cut ourselves free from this dissatisfaction loop. We've made it this far and that is so worth celebrating. We have the ability to completely change the way that our brains work and the reality that we see. And it can honestly just take one thought at a time, capturing one thought and adjusting it. So instead of wishing for the next thing, maybe we find one thing we have wished for that we do have now it takes some time to be grateful that we have got that thing instead of constantly wishing for the next thing. If you feel like this spoke to you in any way, feel free to leave a comment below of one thing that you're grateful for this week. It can be big, it can be small. Let's just refocus on the beauty of right now and live contrary to the saying, the grass is always greener on the other side because no baby, it is green right here because we are taking the time to nurture it. We are taking the time to nurture ourselves in the lives that we have been gifted. So thank you for being here. Be well, be holist.